it's very common for differential equations to have implicit solutions. We saw that when we were looking at examples of separation of variables. The rise of powerful graphing technology means that getting an implicit solution really isn't a problem. But they do need to be treated with a certain amount of care. Let's see an example of what I mean by both those statements. We'll start by formalizing our uh, previously rather vague definition. An equation k of x x, y equals c is an implicit solution to a differential equation if it is satisfied by some solution of the differential equation. Let's recall to mind an example we did in a previous video and a previous set of notes. We did not, when we last did it, give any meaning to the variables. Let's talk about x as a time variable. And let's also put an initial condition here. Y of zero equals zero. We solved this once. When we last solved it, we had a variable C we um, also didn't have it written quite like this. We had this y cubed minus 5y on one side of the equality. We had all of this stuff on the other side. I'm just doing this because according to our definition, anything we have on the right-hand side ought to just be a constant. And this statement that when x equals zero, y equals zero, lets us solve for c. So when x equals zero, y equals zero, and this equation becomes negative c equals zero. So c is zero. And going back to my first statement about how thanks to the rise of swift and powerful graphing technology, it's not really bad to have a solution like that. Here we are in Desmos.com and we will plug y cubed minus 5y minus 4x plus x squared equals zero in, and we will more or less instantly get a picture back. So when x is zero, y is zero, you start up here, and x is time, so as time passes, we go to the right. 
and you can see what Y does as time passes. It goes down to negative one, then bounces back up. Y is zero after four seconds, and then it keeps going. But here's where what I said about having to be careful comes into play. What happens when we reach the rightmost point? Do we keep orbiting around this kind of pointed oval? Do we jump down here to this part of the curve? The answer is neither of those things. What actually happens is that when we reach this point, or when we reach this point, our differential equation breaks. We get a division by zero error. So remember when I've talked about solutions existing on intervals? The solution we were just looking at is only a solution on an interval. So we generated that entire graph, but the majority of this graph is actually unrelated to the differential equation. Like if X starts at zero, Y never gets down onto this piece and Y never gets up here. If X starts at zero, then only this tiny part of the curve is actually transversible. X increases until we reach this point and then stops. Or if we let X be negative, if we let time be negative, it could decrease a little until it stops. So you have to be careful with implicit solutions. You sometimes get, as we saw here, a bunch of extraneous stuff that isn't really related to the differential equation.